So you guys want to know a little bit just a quick yes. thing of what yep. is flip learning. So flip learning is a um, like an approach to learning where they kind of call it like um, instead of doing like the lecture and the classroom or the lesson sort of thing, mm. the teacher disseminates the information mm. and the kids try and you know soak it all up or whatever, and then they have a follow-on task like maybe even for homework that's flipped. So that it's a bit like what we're doing in the mind lab where you are watching the videos or whatever. And then when you come to the in-class time, they call it, it's that in-class time that's really important. So rather than spend the teacher spending their time trying to um, get the kids to, you know, mm. get, you know it's, it's recognising that the kids can actually access that information for themselves, but the rich and deep learning comes in the in-class time when the teacher can facilitate that kind of discussion and deep learning. Mm. So they sort of see a lesson in their own time, yeah, and then yeah. they come in where yeah. you have a rich conversation yeah. about the lesson and yeah. they've already viewed or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so um, so I looked, I've been thinking about that because we've been doing that. Um, well, one of, my, one of my teachers who was on the mind lab, that's what this mm. morning, but she did with her, um, her Māori immersion class, and she also did mm. things like um, the parents said, well, we're not um, fluent speakers of the deal, so mm. she would put up sort of like mini lessons that they could, um, on a, like a YouTube channel, mm. that they, they could watch wow, and support awesome. and the kids learn to hire the parents and blah, 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 blah. Mm. So um, we've been doing a lot of things using video and filming and stuff like that mm -hmm. in our school, so it's kind of like just how things have evolved. Mm. And um, one of the things about flipped learning is to maximise that in-class time so that you can have those rich discussions and really help kids mm. to think critically and, and creatively and that sort of stuff. Mm. So then I was thinking, you know, um, the teacher said, you know, um, it buys you time. You know how and how there's a lot to cover and mm. you're thinking, oh, man, you know. Mm. So we, um, instead of using all that time, say for example, in the, I don't know, some sort of science okay. lesson, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you know, the kids yeah. can kind of like go and have a look at a video or the t a video that the teacher has created with some of the content for yeah. it, and then they can come and um, talk about it and apply it to their learning. So. I was thinking, you know, well, I haven't got a class, but um, my, my staff are our class, and so, you know, it's doing that flip learning. And I've tried it at one or two things, small things with the staff, where we've, we've put on a video and then got them to watch it, and then they come and have a discussion and stuff like that. You have a staff and, meeting class. Yeah, and, and, oh, and have found that that's actually, yeah, you know, so I was thinking that I could do that and just see how that might um, improve our professional So my question is, how might we begin to explore and use Flip learning as a way of maximising our in-class learning time mm -hmm. during professional learning development with our staff, allowing greater uh, time for collaboration, critical reflection and action. 